Hello, fellow book questers. It is I, Aaron the Book Questioner. Welcome to one of the last episodes of this house. And here I am. See, and this book is quite straightforward, and it will catch your eye and speed you along the story. I read it in 40 minutes. It's a great book. And Sacred at the Terracotta Soldier by Ying Chan Compstein and Vincent Compstein. I'm pretty sure they're related, if you didn't notice. And let's get right on to it. Ming lives in the village of Red Star, and his father is an archaeologist. His archaeologist father, however, is on the brink of losing his job if he doesn't find anything important in the village of Red Star. Ming's father thinks that the, the tomb of the great Emperor Qing, the Master Lord, Masoleum is near the humble village. And what? Why in this dusty village would Emperor Queen's um, tomb would be? But when... So that is one of the reasons why that Ming's father is gonna be blamed and kicked out of his job and sent to hard labor, which would be really bad. And also, and when Ming and three brothers, they are farmers, they found a sort of, they found, they found an earth god, which was a broken terracotta statue, whose name was Xi. And, and when Ming took Xi, Xi, into his house, it began to a surprise, it began to speak. And it reassembled itself and then the basically the mayor who is who is nicknamed Goatface, she is a very annoying man and he took the terracotta soldier away. But the terracotta soldier escaped. But while he was well captured um the so the men the men Goatface and his friends were talking about breaking into the tomb. And she knew that it was his duty to take me because they were using dynamite and it would be something very, very <coughs> evil. And they knew that they had to alert the rest of the terracotta soldiers who was guarding the tomb. And later on, they saw that later on, the, the may, the, they broke in the tomb and all the traps, even with all the traps, um, many of the terracotta soldiers were, well, broken into tiny pieces and all that stuff. And so, they knew they had to do something. So, Ming decided to tell the existence of the tomb to his father, and his father would make the place a um, kind of museum that no one could touch. It was done so, and the mausoleum was saved. And, and Ming, who was being bullied by Teacher Panda and all the other students in, in, the, in, in his school, was claimed a hero. And happy ending, great book, great read. And like always, your book quester and the book quester. Great book, guys.